Well, on behalf of Jessica and Mark, I'd like to thank each of you for attending this wedding celebration today. You are indeed participating in one of the happiest moments of their lives. For Jessica and Mark, your very presence here as family and as honored guests not only heightened the beauty of this moment for them, but it also completes it. So again, thank you so much for being here. It's a beautiful day to celebrate their love. gathered here today to witness the coming together of two people, two people whose hearts and spirits are already entwined as one. And in fact, those of you who know Jessica and Mark best can also attest to their love for one another, to the blended hopes, dreams, and goals they share. When such a bond exists of this magnitude, it's only appropriate that we have an open and a public demonstration of their love, such as this beautiful wedding ceremony. And so it is now that Jessica and Mark will profess before God, their friends and family, of their desire to walk this road of life together as husband and wife. I, Mark, take you, Jessica, as my friend and my love beside me and apart from me, in laughter and in tears, in conflict and in tranquility, asking that you'll be no other than yourself, loving what I know of you, trusting what I do not know, and in all the ways that life may lead us. I, Jessica, take you, Mark, as my friend and my love, beside me and apart from me, in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, asking that you be no other than yourself, loving what I know of you, trusting what I do not know, and in all the ways that life may lead us. Well, for as much as Mark and Jessica have consented together in holy wedlock, and I've witnessed the same before God in this company, and there too have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by the joining of hands and by the giving and the accepting of the wedding rings. I hereby pronounce that they are husband and wife together and what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Well, Mark, you may kiss your beautiful bride. It is my privilege, my joy, my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Winkler. I can remember one of the uh, first times Jess called me about Mark. Um, she said she met him in Vegas and she was gushing about how nice he was and I could just tell he was the one. I'm so happy and honored to be here today and take part in this celebration and celebrate your love and marriage. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness together and here is to the happy couple. Cheers.
Mark's a lot of things. He's funny, he's successful, conversationalist, great taste in women. But he makes his own luck. Except for this one time in Vegas, of all places, where he did go all in and won big. Bigger than I've seen somebody win in Vegas before or since. When people talk about gambling, they usually mean money. But you can gamble a lot of things. You can gamble your time, your experiences, your plans that night. You can tell your future best man at his own bachelor party in Vegas that you're gonna be a little late to the show that night because you just met this amazing girl and you need to see her again before she leaves. You can gamble and lose 99 times, but if you win just once and win big, it's like all the prior hands never matter because you just hit the jackpot in Vegas, and you know your life is never gonna be the same again. To Mark and Jess, proof that not everything stays in Vegas.